This is the O Review Podcast. O Review. Hi-C is back, and so is Crystal Pepsi. So this color scheme made me think of something, and uh, I want to do a review on it. All right, so what we have here is the uh, Rio Olympic Edition EV0 range. Um, this came also came in the PATH configuration, as well as a few other models, too. Um, there was a Jawbreaker, a couple radars, flak jacket, and a frog skin. And they all basically had the same color scheme, which was a hand-painted green fade, so it goes from green to white, and then a prism field lens. Now, the thing that made the, diff the zero different was that it actually had a dual iridium. And basically what they did is they masked off a certain area, and they made the center chrome. So the range and the path both had the same configuration to it, which is kind of cool. And it's really the only uh, dual iridium that I've seen um, outside of the movie, like uh, Double Team, where they kind of just use inserts and things like that. Or the prescription pairs, where they actually had a physical separate lens implanted inside of this. Um, so as such, it's really kind of a, a cool piece. And the nice thing is I didn't really do a huge premium on this. So, I mean, these normally go for about 160 and uh, these ones actually went for about 190 So it was like a $30 premium, which isn't too bad considering that they had to... Uh, hand paint all these and mask and run the iridium through twice. And I can only imagine that most of these uh, probably ended up failing during the iridium process um, since on a good day you end up with a lot of uh, lenses that don't quite take the iridium too well. And when you have to do two of them and get both of them to come out perfect, uh, especially with the center one being chrome, which actually has one of the higher failure rates, uh, it is kind of nice that it really didn't have that much of a premium. Uh, so as such, the center is going to be prism field, which is basically the prism field base lens with torch iridium on top of it. When the field came out, we didn't actually know what kind of iridium it had. It was new at the time, and then when torch came out, they said, hey, you've already seen this. It was on the prism field lens. Uh, so looking through it, it's sort of like a nice purple hue to it. Um, gives everything a nice contrast. Um, during the day, um, it really accentuates the greens and things like that, which is a nice, um, it's also good for daily use. I mean, if you don't mind this sort of somewhat subtle color shift, it's really sort of a nice piece to wear. Um, but, you know, the way it looks, it also makes a nice collection piece too. Uh, so I was really glad to pick these up. Um, I like weird things, and weird things are what most of my collection is built on at this point, especially things that are unique like this. Um, I did see a YouTube ad where a lot of, like, the Olympic athletes came in, and helped hand paint all of these. I'm not sure how many of the ones that got released actually had that, or for whether it was just a publicity thing, but um, they did actually bring uh, quite a sizable team elsewhere in to get all these done, so um, they would be all ready for the Olympics. And so if you're thinking about picking one of these up, I would highly recommend it, um, if you can still kind of find some around. Um, I believe they, they sold out pretty well, but you could probably still pick them up if you're diligent enough. Um, I would highly recommend these if you're a collector to pick them up because uh, I'm not sure if they'll do this again. I, I really would hope they would because the dual iridium looks really nice. Uh, it's a nice clear distinction between the boundaries. And then the prism field lens is also a nice addition too. It's one of the prisms I hadn't had yet. I'm still trying to pick up at least one of those so I can maybe do a video on those in the future. Um, so having that in my collection in addition to all the other things that came with it was really a cool piece too. All right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to get a few videos done today, so hopefully I'll have some more up soon. Thanks. Oh, review.